Today, we will list 15 things everyone should know about money. These are not in any particular order, but they are all important to help guide you through your financial journey. The goal is for you to master at least 90% of this list. We want you to learn it, live it, and take action. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Elma and Jerwin. And Chopal. We're two Asians and a dog. Our channel is about sharing our journey to reaching 8 12 2024, which is our retirement date. In our channel, we go over real estate and stock market investing mm -hmm. and financial education. Also, we'll cover some of our travels as well. But make sure you join us till the end for Chopal's tip for the week. Number one, save early and often. To make it easier, automate your savings account. Some employers even allow you to split your direct deposit into multiple accounts, meaning you can set up, for example, $50 into your savings account every time you get paid. The key is to be consistent. Whatever that dollar amount, just make sure you have the mindset that once it goes into the savings, it stays in the savings. When you start making excuses and start withdrawing, you open the floodgates to tap into the account anytime it's convenient. Be disciplined. And if you have to, hide the account from yourself. Number two. Higher risk means higher reward. Investing, as you know, comes with risk. If you think about it, everything you do with money has a risk. If you invest too aggressively, you may risk losing all your money. Invest too conservatively, such as in a savings account earning you 0.01%, is also a risk. You risk losing your purchasing power due to inflation. One thing you always need to keep in mind is you never want to risk more than what you're willing to lose. Number three, diversify your portfolio. Now, we're on the fence about this, and to us, it just depends on your time horizon. If you're young like us, then you shouldn't be too diversified. You should be invested really aggressively, meaning have more stocks than bonds. If you do the whole index fund or mutual fund approach, um, I, I would say as you get older, let's say 50 plus, then yes, maybe you want to lean more towards bonds and be more diversified. Diversification also means having your funds in multiple vehicles to make it grow. Like for us, we're heavy in real estate, but as you know, we also invest in the stock market. We've also invested in businesses and also in our own small business. Diversification is another fancy word for balance. Just like having a balanced life, you also need a balanced investment portfolio. Number four. Know the difference between a bull and a bear market. How I remember what a bear market is, is when I heard this quote from JP Morgan Chase, or while I was working on JP Morgan Chase, bear down. Short and simple means prices are falling. Bull market just means the market is rising and people are encouraged to buy. Doing some additional research, we did find out why it's actually called a bear and a bull market. The term is derived from which the two animals attack its opponents. A bull will actually thrust its horns up, and a bear will swipe down when it's attacking an opponent. Interesting, huh? So if it's a bull market, it's up, and a bear market, it's down. Number five, minimize debt. This one is self-explanatory. Learn to budget and don't purchase things you don't need. Budgeting is a must, so you can see where your hard-earned money is going or where it's being wasted. We've done a couple of videos on budgeting, so make sure you go back and watch. We'll link our playlist below. Number six, know your credit report and your score. Once a year, you can go on annualcreditreport.com and receive a free credit report from all three credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. One tip is to request your report every four months. For example, in January, request a report from TransUnion. Then in May, request one from Experian, and then in September, one from Equifax. Now, if you want your actual credit score, you would have to pay for it. There are also plenty of other resources to get your score such as your bank account or your credit card company. Also, remember that anytime you apply for any kind of credit, whether that's a car loan or opening a credit card or getting a mortgage, you have the right to request a free copy of your report within 60 days. Number seven, always continue to learn. The financial world for the most part stays the same every year. However, every year you personally grow and learn different things. Therefore, we want you to be constantly learning everything you can about finances as your needs and investments goals will change every year or every so often. For example, you guys know we have been investing in the stock market for over 10 years. However, we didn't learn about dividend investing until this year, 2020. To improve yourself, you must be constantly wanting to expand your knowledge. The line I used to always say is, you don't know what you don't know. Number eight, <laughs> time is more important than money. You can always make more money. 
However, you cannot make more time. It's important to have that balance in life. There's so many stories we hear about parents working so much to provide for their kids, but at the same time, the parents are not the ones raising their kids. Parents don't realize that the kids are growing up and when the parents are ready to be around, the kids are older and they no longer want to be around their parents. What value do you put on your time? Most people need to realize that time is also a currency. Number nine, you need an emergency fund. But what is the right amount? Now there's a lot of debate on whether you need a one month to a 12 months emergency account. Our take on it is you should at least have at least 12 months. 12 months, I know. Now it takes time to get to 12 months. So let's start with a month and then build from there. But why 12 months you ask? Well, if we all learn 2020, we need to be a lot more prepared for any financial obstacles we may encounter. PC, pre-COVID, people could get a job within what, two or three months. Now we don't know what 2021 and beyond has in store for us, but it's safe to say it will take longer to get a job with so many people unemployed already. A funded 12 month emergency account means you have more time and theoretically you'll be able to make a better decision on your next job because you have more time and you're not just taking any job just to take a job, but taking the right job. What is not an emergency? Car maintenance is not an emergency. However, it can become an emergency if you don't do your regular upkeep such as your regular oil change or your tire rotations. Also, things you see on sale is not what your emergency fund should be spent on either. Number 10, take advantage of free money. If your employer offers a 401k, there should be absolutely no reason why you're not taking advantage of this. At a minimum, you should at least be matching what they offer you. For example, if they're offering to match, let's say up to 3%, of what you put in, make sure you're at least contributing that 3%. By doing this, you'll be contributing 6% towards your retirement account, plus the growth you're accumulating in, in your account. If you're responsible enough, take advantage of credit card points. We will be doing another video on how to maximize and have a credit card benefit you instead of the card company, so make sure you subscribe to be notified when that video comes out. Number 11, have multiple streams of income. Today's society, it's even easier to have multiple streams of income. With Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, and Etsy, there's really no excuses on why you can't have multiple streams of income. Most millionaires have on average of six to eight different streams of income. We only have a few streams of income currently, but in the future, we hope to add this channel as one of our sources of income. So if you want to support this channel, please subscribe and share this video. This is definitely an area we are putting all of our efforts on. Number 12. Know the difference between assets and liabilities. Examples of assets are investments, whether it's real estate, stocks, or bonds. Cash is another prime example of an asset. Even your car is an asset. It's a depreciating asset, but nonetheless, it's an asset. Liability could be your credit cards. Um, loans such as student loans, mortgages, and personal loans. Knowing the difference between the two will steer you from collecting liabilities and instead will make you work towards building your assets. Number 13, know the difference between wants and needs. Now, this can get complicated for most people. The reason billions and billions are spent on advertising is to confuse you and I on what is a need versus a want. In today's society, it has become more and more difficult to differentiate between the two. If you go back to our basic needs, what we truly need is just four things, food, water, warmth, and rest. Now, we know we have evolved and we ourselves have been guilty of having more than what we need. Most of us living in the US have way more than what we need. Do we really need a TV in every single room or have four cars for a household of three? Number 14. Know the basics when it comes to taxes. Now, we don't expect you to be a CPA or accountant, but you should know some basics when it comes to your taxes, such as your tax bracket or if you own, if you own a home or have a child, what tax benefits do you have? On the investment side, can you contribute to a Roth IRA? Or what are the benefits to maxing out your 401k? Like we said earlier, always continue to learn and expand your knowledge. And did you also know that you can deduct your moving expenses if you have to relocate for work as long as it's 50 miles away from your current residence? Number 15. Social media is your number one enemy towards your financial journey. If you scroll through IG or Facebook, you will immediately compare your, your situation with someone else doing more than you. You see people going on vacations, buying the latest iPhones, eating out at expensive restaurants. Regardless of what social class you're in, someone will always have more than you. Easier said than done, but do your best not to compare your successes with someone else. We all have different paths in life, 
and everything you see on social media is not the way it seems. Like we mentioned in the beginning, our goal is for you to master 90% from this list. If you guys think we missed something, please comment below and when we do an updated version, maybe we can add your suggestions. That's everything we have for you guys today. If you enjoyed watching this video, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to our channel. We make videos on personal finance, real estate, and stock market investing. Now it's time for a Show Pals Tip of the Week. Show Pals Tip of the Week. Follow inspirational or motivational people on social media. Start with two Asians and a dog on IG. And when you're there, follow us on our personal IG as well at Lifestyle at a Glance and JLaforteza12. Thank you.